Yeah, there's definitely a lot of people who have been getting sick right now. Uh, as we move out of the pandemic, a lot of us are not wearing masks. We're gathering together for the holidays. A lot of people are traveling. And quite frankly, our immune system probably isn't as strong as, as it once was before the pandemic since we've all been isolating. So what's been happening right now, uh, there's been a lot of uh, viruses going around, most notably uh, COVID, of course, which we are all very familiar with, RSV, which is the respiratory syncytial virus, and there has been an uptick of influenza virus, which is what we know as the flu. So basically, a lot of patients have been coming in and have been calling and have been asking what's going on with them. A lot of individuals have been having fevers, coughs, cold-like symptoms, runny nose, and they are uh, wondering what it is, what's causing it, whether it's COVID, whether it's a bacterial infection. So with regards to these three viruses that I already mentioned, there is a lot of overlap between the three. A lot of individuals will be coughing. A lot of individuals will have the fever. Certainly many will have fatigue. There's very little particular nuances between the three of them. So take the flu, for example. All you have to do is be exposed to somebody very quickly and the next day, you could be infected with the flu and manifest the symptoms. So the expression that's, that you'll often see in the newspapers and in the literature is that somebody with the flu feels like they got hit by a train. They feel extremely worn out. The fever can reach very high levels. So a fever is technically anything over 100.4. Of course, you will have cough and you'll have sore throat as well. With COVID, everybody seems to respond differently uh, I, I always say with COVID, no two patients are alike. Individuals seem to tend to have a lot of those cold-like symptoms now, some low-grade fever, cough, sore throat, some chest congestion. And then with regards to the RSV, which is something that we're seeing much more of recently, and it's usually something that we typically see in kids, but we're now seeing in adults, it also has a lot of the symptoms that mimic COVID, but with RSV, there tends to be a lot more mucus production. Certain individuals may have also a, a cough or a wheeze. So the next question is, what do we do about these three viruses? Certainly, uh, an annual flu vaccine is recommended. The CDC continues to put out recommendations regarding COVID-19, including vaccination uh, with the most recent iteration of the, uh, the bivalent mRNA vaccine, which covers the Omicron variant as well as the previous strains. With regards to treatment, so if a patient has COVID-19, your, your options are, are, are fairly limited. Uh, one can still try to obtain monoclonal antibody, which is a one-time infusion. There's also a medication called Paxlovid, which is a, a five-day treatment. Not every patient will meet criteria for Paxlovid, but that would be a discussion that patients should have with their physician if it's appropriate for them. For the flu, there's a medication called Tamiflu, which depends from provider to provider, but usually that medication's only been being prescribed if a patient's been having symptoms for two days or less. Otherwise, the medication can lose its effectiveness. And other than that, it's the basics. Tylenol is great for controlling temperature. It works on the temperature control system in the hypothalamus. Ibuprofen, Motrin, Naproxen, those are very good for as well for fever, but also for aches and discomforts, which a lot of individuals have with any of these three viruses. And then tried and true remedies. Some people really like having soup. Uh, the sodium in the soup can provide a nice calming sensation for the throat. Honey can provide relief. And then the most important thing is being very well hydrated. I recommend to my patients, if they don't mind electrolyte drinks, to purchase Gatorade Zero, which has all the electrolytes and does not have sugar. The importance with hydration is that when we're sick, and typically when we have a temperature, we tend to burn off more water as heat and as a vapor from our mouth. So it's very important that we replenish our uh, hydration supply. And then other than that, if uh, you are unable to control your symptoms or things continue to get worse, first that you call your doctor, but you may need to go to the hospital. Now, fortunately, things have not been so bad with COVID where hospitalization is, is commonplace anymore. But nonetheless, I always take the approach that it's better safe than sorry. Call your physician. 
and take very good care of yourself. The best medicine is prevention. So what does that mean? Eat your three meals per day, get a nice diet with fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, stay hydrated, exercise regularly, wash your hands regularly, especially when coming into close contact with others, and wear your mask if you're sick so as to not infect others, especially as we all congregate together now during the holidays. And then, of course, do not hesitate to call your doctor for any questions, advice, or recommendations regarding how you're feeling.